Hey there, it's Eric Evanstead at bootstrapbizgrowth.com and in this video, I'm gonna tell you about one of my favorite new tools and that is a teleprompter app that I use on my Android phone. And so if you're not familiar with teleprompters, what they are is they're basically screens that project your text that you're gonna be talking about in your video up in front of your camera lens so that you can read along on a script without it actually being picked up by the camera lens. So you're looking into the camera lens while reading and people can't tell that, that you are reading an actual script, but it just makes it a lot easier to produce video content without a bunch of retakes, without a ton of time editing, because you can kind of just read along and nail it on the first try. And so this is a tool that I really like to use when I'm recording videos on my phone. Um, I use an Android phone and it really makes it easy to record those videos on the phone because I'm able to drag this little teleprompter widget right in front of the camera lens so that it kind of looks like I'm actually looking into the camera lens. I'm kind of making eye contact with the viewer, but they can't tell that I'm really reading my script. And so what I want to do is I want to show you how to use this, this app. It's called Oratory, O-R-A-T-O-R-Y. And I'll link to that in the description. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to flash over to my phone and recording on there so that you can see how I get set up with this and how I actually use it because it is really cool and it's going to save you a ton of time with all these videos that you're creating. So just hold up one second while I pull up my phone here. All right, so I have my phone on here and I'm going to show you how to use this oratory app. I'm going to walk you through the process. The first thing you want to do is you want to download the app to your phone. So you're going to go into the Google Play Store. You are going to come up here and you're going to search for O-R-A-T-O-R-Y, oratory. It's this first one at the top, oratory prompter widget. So we're going to click on that. I have already downloaded this, so I don't have that option to show you how to do it, but hopefully you know how to download an app. Just hit install and it's going to download it to your phone. Once you do that, you can open it up. Again, this is a totally free app, which is really great. And now I have Oratory opened. And what I want to do is I want to add a new script. So I want to add a script in here so that it adds to the teleprompter and I can just read through it as I record a video. So to do that, you just hit this red plus button down here at the bottom right. You can name the script. So we can call this Oratory Video. And then here for script content, you can type out your script if you want to. What I like to do though, is I like to write out my script on my computer and then I save that script to email. I send it to myself an email or I save it to a Google document through Google Drive. And that will allow me, I'll show you really quickly, that'll allow me to go into something like Google Drive and just copy and paste it from my phone. So I did a search for scripts. Here's a video script that I've used in the past. So what I want to do is I want to just hold my finger down until I see select all, click that, and I'm going to hit copy. And now it's copied to my clipboard. So I can go back into oratory now and edit this one that we just started. I can hold my finger down where script content, where it says script content, hold my finger down and hit paste. And now I've pasted my content or my, my script into the oratory app widget. And now one thing I want to point out is for some reason when I do this, when I paste in my script and my text, it does a double space here in between contents or in between paragraphs. So I want to go through and remove that extra space that it's added in because that will throw off the timing of your video and of the teleprompter. It's going to add too big of a pause in between these paragraphs and the, the, I've just found the timing gets all thrown off. So I go through and I delete all of those extra spaces. It's a little bit of a pain, but it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna make your, your videos a little bit more fluid. Once you've done that, you can hit back up near the top left. I'm gonna click on the oratory um, script that we just created. So I'll show you that again. I'm just gonna click on here. And now I can customize the text size and the text speed. So near the bottom, I'm gonna click text size. And I wanna make it a little bit bigger because I have bad eyesight. You can make it smaller if you want. 
I just know that I don't want to be squinting on camera because that's just not a good look and people are going to know that you're reading off a teleprompter and the goal is for them to not know that you're reading a teleprompter. You want it to appear that you're looking right into the camera lens, which will in turn make it look like you're making eye contact with them while you're creating this video. So that is pretty good for me. I'm going to hit this check mark box in the bottom right and that saves it. And then you can also change the text speed. So you just drag your finger along here. You can speed it up or slow it down. I would just encourage you to read through it as it's going and, and find a speed that works well for you, that works well with your naturally natural speaking speed. So for me, I know that mine's you know right around there. I'm gonna hit the check mark box again to save it. You can play around with some of these other uh, settings. You can change the font style, the background color, the opacity. I leave them as is just because I think they work you know, just great uh, with their default settings. So once you're ready to start recording, all the settings look good, the text size looks good, the text speed looks good, I'm going to hit run. And now here's this widget pulled up. You can just click on it with your finger and drag it around where you want it. You want to put it right near the camera lens. That is why this is such a great app is because it's a widget. Most teleprompter apps don't allow you to change the size, the window size, and they don't allow you to drag it. And so this is really important with a teleprompter because you can drag it right near the camera lens so it always looks like your eyes are looking into that camera lens. You know, you don't want to make it big like this even though you can because eventually you're going to be reading near the bottom of the screen and people will be able to see that. They'll be able to see that you're reading this thing. So you want to keep it right up here so that your eyes are always staying focused on just one line of text and that line of text is right near the camera lens. So this is very, very important. Once you have this up and you're ready to go, you just want to open up your, your, uh, your camera app, however you, you record your videos. So for me, I can just double tap the home screen and it pulls it up. And so there I am. And now if I want to start recording, I would just hit the record button down here, bottom left. I can't do this since I'm doing the screen tutorial video right now. It won't let me do two recordings at once, but I would hit that to start recording. And then as soon as that starts recording, I would come up here on the widget and I would hit this little play button right there. And now I can start reading. Hi, I'm Eric Evanstead, the creator of the Entrepreneur's Guide to Outsourcing. And if you're like a lot of the people I work with and you're an over, you get the point. Basically, the point is here is it looks like I'm looking into the camera lens while I'm really in fact reading this script which is going to make it so I don't make a lot of stupid errors. I don't have to re-record this video because I lose my train of thought. Um, I don't have to do a bunch of editing afterwards. I can just read along the script as it goes, which is going to save a lot of time in the long run. I'm going to pause that right now. One thing I should point out is that, you know, most people are going to do their, their video recording on their phone in landscape view. And so to get your teleprompter, the teleprompter widget to turn to landscape view, you have to first open up the camera, the recorder, the video recorder, whatever you're using for that, whatever app you're using, your, your built-in camera, open that up first. And then once that's open, you can move your phone to landscape view. And when you do that, it'll switch the teleprompter to landscape view as well. So that's a little trick that took me a while to figure out is that to you know get that widget to rotate to landscape view you first have to open up the camera widgets once you do that everything will rotate when you turn your phone and then you'll be able to record your videos in landscape view and use a teleprompter in landscape view again I just want to emphasize that you really want to make this teleprompter really small and put it right up next to the camera lens so that it does look like you are always making eye contact with your viewer. That's how you're going to get the best video recordings possible. So I hope you're able to follow along with that video all right. I would really encourage you to go try out this app. Go download it. Again, it's totally free. So download it, give it a shot, and see what you think. For me, it made a huge difference. It made my videos look a lot more polished. It allowed me to cut down on the time that it would take me to record videos because I wouldn't have to do a bunch of retakes. I wouldn't have to do a bunch of editing afterwards. It's just been a really helpful tool for me during my time creating videos. So give it a shot. If you find it useful, let us know. Drop us a comment down below. I would also love it if you would scroll down and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to be creating a ton of new content in the weeks ahead, in the months ahead. 
Um, all of our content is about how to grow your business on a budget. We talk about helpful tools that can help you get your business growing. We talk about strategies and tactics. We talk about marketing. We talk about outsourcing. It's all about helping you grow your business on a budget. So subscribe down below, hit that big red button, and you'll get notified about upcoming videos from us. And then lastly, I just want to thank you for watching this video. Thanks for stopping by our YouTube channel, and we hope to see you again soon.